This is Gene Key, KDD News. MyHighPlains.com reports the man listed as the owner of an Amarillo bail bonds is facing aggravated sexual assault of a child charges in Archer County. Maxie Max Green was arrested last month after a Child Protective Services interview with a young girl. In the interview, the girl accuses Green of sexually assaulting her several times. According to the company's website, Green is listed as the owner of Bail Max Bonding in Amarillo and also A to Z Bail Bonds in Wichita Falls. A grass fire in Hereford destroys one home and damaged another Sunday afternoon, according to Amarillo.com. Hereford Fire Marshal Dean Turdy says about 3 p.m. fire crews responded to a backyard fire at 213 Avenue C. Fire conditions deteriorated as the wind gusted to 56 miles per hour. The fire spread from the backyard to the neighborhood home of 215 Avenue C and jumped back to the first home. The neighboring home was completely destroyed, and the original home suffered some fire damage. A woman and four children were able to escape from the neighboring home with no injuries. The fire caused an estimated $50,000 damage to 215 Avenue C. Fire officials have not listed damage to the other property as of yet. Turney said the cause of the fire was not accidental, but still under investigation. A Missouri man has been booked into the Oldham County Jail charged with possession of marijuana. From NewsChannel10.com, the Department of Public Safety says 39-year-old Gary Altman was stopped on Interstate 40 Monday afternoon. They say his car was searched with the K-9 unit, and the K-9 unit alerted on the vehicle. They say 24 pounds of marijuana valued at more than $130,000 and hashish were found inside luggage in the vehicle. This is Gene Key, KDD News.